Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a traditional Halloween mask. My name is Katora and let's get crafting. Before we jump into the project, here's everything you need if you are playing along at home. For the base of the mask, I used an inexpensive full face mask you can pick up at your local craft store. To give this mask its spooky shape, I'll be using tin foil and masking tape. My mask was a little small, so I bulked up around the outside of it before I started sculpting the facial features. If you don't have any tin foil on hand, you can easily swap it with newspaper. The idea for this project came from a late night scrolling session on TikTok where I stumbled upon the post about the origins of Halloween, which led me down a major rabbit hole. Historians consider the Celtic pagan festival of Samhain to be the predecessor of our modern Halloween celebration. It was believed that this night represents the border between the living and the dead, and the last night for the dead to have their vengeance before moving on. Some would offer treats and food to keep the spirits at bay, while others wore disguises so wandering spirits would mistake them for one of their own. And after learning all that, this is how this project was born. I consider myself pretty proficient when it comes to working with EVA foam clay. I wanted to try another medium for the mask and something similar to what would have been used back then. I found Cellu Clay, instant paper mache. Not only does it give you the look of traditional paper mache, I feel it's a lot less messier than the classic paper mache. It's a pretty straightforward mixing process. Just open up the bag and add water until you get the consistency you like. If it's too wet, just add a little more clay. If it's too dry, add a little more water. There are measurements on the bag, but I just eyeballed it. One big bonus when working with the clay, it keeps indefinitely in your fridge. A little goes a long way with this too. With one one pound brick of cellu clay, I was able to make this mask and three pumpkin buckets. While working with the clay, I found that a silicone spatula and a good old fashioned butter knife came in very handy for sculpting. I was so excited to start putting clay on my mask. I completely forgot to put a layer of saran wrap down to prevent the clay from sticking to the masking tape. So if you're playing along at home, make sure you wrap your project to save yourself a little bit of frustration in the future. To help prevent the clay from sticking to your fingers, periodically dip them in some water.
After roughly 16 hours of dry time, it's time to sand down the bumps. I used 80 grit sandpaper for this. Now that everything is sanded, I prepped the surface with two coats of gesso. Before I start the painting parade, I added the straps to the back of the mask. For the straps, I used suede cord. For the attachment points, I drilled two holes on either side of the mask, just above where the ears are. To counteract the heaviness from the horns, I added two holes on the top of the mask, took those two straps and tied them to the previous straps I put on the side of the mask. Now it's time to paint. To start things off, I'm going to knock down the brightness of the white gesso with several washes of off-white and then dry brush some tan over top of it. Now I begin the dance of weathering, pushing and pulling the colors, adding and subtracting until I am content. All that there is left to do is add a little bit of highlight and we are done. I would like to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video has inspired you to go out and create something spooky of your own. Please hit that like button and possibly subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. This helps us out tremendously when we are fighting the evil algorithmic overlords. My name is Katora and I will see you next time.